Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Latay and Michelle back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Also, turn on my post notifications so you guys are notified every time I post. Let's get into the video. So today's video is just going to be a girl talk video, a little bit about self-love and mental health. So I did make a list. So the first one is letting yourself fail. I feel like this is really, really important um, for the perfectionists out there. I am a perfectionist myself. It's really hard to get the gist of letting yourself fail because it's like, who wants to fail? Like nobody wants to fail. Everybody wants to be good at what they're doing. Becoming okay with failing <laughs> will definitely help you. From my experience, I am currently trying to be a hairstylist and I automatically get upset with myself when I make a mistake um, just because I am a perfectionist and I just want things to be perfect. The only way you can really, really get better at anything you're trying to accomplish or any goals or whatever is failure, like making mistakes, Learning from those mistakes, just letting yourself fail is definitely number one on my list. And I just really think that's super, super important. Giving myself time to cry and feel my emotions more. Feel your emotions, you know, cry when you need to cry. Don't beat yourself up because you're upset or like just feel your emotions. Like I have trouble with being vulnerable. Let me say that. This year I made a goal for myself to definitely open up more, definitely be vulnerable. With me being on YouTube now, this definitely gives me, gives me a place where I can vent and you know, just cry if I need to. It's very important to just feel your emotions. Like, if you keep it all bottled up, it's not going to get anywhere. Like, you're not gonna get anywhere. Honestly, your mental health may even get worse just because you're not doing anything to help it. So, but that's really, really important. The next thing is, Celebrate the little wins and milestones. I feel like this is very important because this actually gives you something to look forward to. You know, doing little things for myself um, just to celebrate. It's exciting to celebrate the little wins even though you haven't hit that main goal yet, it's still good. So definitely celebrate the little milestones and definitely celebrate the little wins you guys have. Anybody who's experiencing anxiety, this one is for you. Stand on your anxiety and don't let it stand on you. I've been praying a lot more and I've been just, you know, asking God to help me stand on my problems and don't let my problems stand on me because I'm not gonna lie, 2022 was a very hard year, but <laughs> we're still here. So make sure you are doing everything that you can to beat your mental health or whatever you're dealing with. If you're dealing with anxiety, if you're dealing with depression, if you're dealing with anything that has to do with your mental health and you think it's causing you problems, just make sure you stand on them problems. Don't let it stand on you because that's when everything is just gonna mess up. <laughs> the next one is every day is the first day of the rest of your life. So start it without any worries about the past. I had just seen this quote and it spoke to me so much. So I had to write it down and talk to you guys about it. Like every day is a new day. Every day is a brand new start. It's a fresh start to tackle everything that you've been wanting to tackle. If you weren't able to do it last week or yesterday, you have a whole new day. It just makes me excited. It definitely makes me excited when I think about it that way. So the next one, this pretty much helps me a lot, it helps me with my anxiety. Find soothing music when feeling stressed or depressed or any negative emotion. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, yesterday and today, I've been listening to some calm, lofi, anxiety, stress relieving music and it's been helping so much. I cannot stress this enough. Like, I never thought I was gonna be one of those people who like sat and listened to music like that, but it definitely helps. It's like super, super calming. Let me see if I can actually find a song so it is called so the title of the video is calm your stress For anybody who needs some soothing music spa day music or anything like that um throughout their day just to help with them get through the day it definitely helps i'm telling you guys it's changed my mood so many times today it doesn't even have to be calming music it could be you know r&b like whatever just find what fits for you throw some music on and just continue your day <laughs> the next one is it's your year to be selfish it's, it's no more doing for others it's no more taking your last it's no more just doing this thinking about other people i mean you still you know 
do that think about others but just put yourself first is basically what i'm saying i am a person who just tries to help out whenever i can and i'm always feeling like i'm putting other people first before me just because i'm just a caring person i'm just a caring individual and i just try to be super super nice and just help when i can but at the same time it definitely put me in positions where i feel like I wasn't doing enough for myself at that point. So definitely put yourself first. This is your year. 2023 is your year to do everything for you and all about you is nothing but you, okay. <laughs> the next thing is have more self-care days. So I honestly need to listen to this. Um, I need to do this because I have not had a self-care day in months. I haven't like really pampered myself in a very, very long time. And I'm not gonna lie, listening to the spa music, like the calming music and stuff, I was just thinking like, dang, I really could like get a massage right now or just go get my nails done or do something for myself that's just relaxing and calming. Like, I feel like self-care days are very, very important when you are juggling a lot. Definitely look into creating self-care days, whether that be once a week, whether that's once a month, just start somewhere. Just show yourself some love and just pamper yourself. You start off with once a month, um, just because I feel like it definitely impacts your mental health. The next one would be um, buy yourself some gifts, buy yourself some flowers, the stuff that you want other people to do for you or like your boyfriend or whatever, like literally just do that for yourself. Like do it more often for yourself. Go buy you some flowers, get a vase, set it up, figure out how to, you know, take care of it. I feel like that's super, super important. Like, you know, you have time to really treat yourself too. Look into finding out the real you. So what I mean is you alone. If you're in a relationship, take some time out of the month or out of the week to really just connect with you on a different level really figure out what you want out of life really just figure out your passions and stuff like that get into some new hobbies or just figure out what you really like you know and enjoy alone like have some alone time throughout the week have some alone time throughout the month or just you know have some days where you just focus nothing but solely on yourself the next one is speak nothing but positivity over each and every day this is like super super important i'm not gonna lie to you guys once i started speaking positivity into my day it definitely helped me with the confidence of how each and every day was gonna go listening to motivational videos about just anything just listening to the motivational videos reading motivational quotes all of that honestly speaking things into existence i feel like that's really really important to do if you're just speaking nothing but negativity nine times out of ten you're going to be experiencing some negative stuff i am trying to do my part this year by speaking positivity into my day reading some positive quotes affirmations and doing my part to just make sure you know my day goes good next one is find a trusted therapist if you are dealing with some mental health issues that you feel like you can't really deal with alone like going to a therapist would definitely be important i know a lot of people who just try to deal with things by themselves and it honestly just makes it worse i was actually one of those people before i got my current therapist of two years now and i'm so happy i made the decision because I was dealing with my mental health by myself and I'm not gonna lie, it just progressively got worse over time. Definitely find either a trusted therapist or a trusted family member you can like occasionally vent to and stuff like that, that can help you and stuff like that. That's super, super important. The next one is do not let other people's opinions dictate who you are as a person. Don't let it dictate what you're gonna do. Don't let it dictate anything in your life. Don't let what people think or their opinions dictate the choices you make for your life. That is super, super important. If you care about what people think, it's literally just gonna be a very unhappy life. Definitely stop caring about what people think. Stop hoping for happiness in the future and start learning how to accept life as it is now and just enjoy each and every day to the fullest. This one I really, really love because I've always wished to be happy. I've always wished to do this in the future and do that and stuff and i never really like sat back and just 
thought like, you know what? I'm gonna be happy now. Like I genuinely wanna be happy now. So every day isn't promised. Work on being happy now and just stop focusing on trying to be happy in the future. Like just enjoy it now. I need to really <laughs> take this in as well. I wanna experience happiness now and the only way I feel like you can be happy in the future is if you focus on being happy now. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope my tips were helpful. All right, y'all, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe button. Also turn on my post notifications so you guys are notified every time I post and I will catch you guys in my next video.